Greetings! In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up groups within your eClass. First, navigate to your course and click on the blue gear icon for course management on the top left hand corner. Next, click on Groups under User Links. Groups can be used several ways within eClass to set up pairings or groupings for students working together in a forum, submitting to an assignment together, or if your course is merged with another section, to have students broken up by section. To create a group, scroll down under the Groups tab and you'll see several options. You can create a group, import groups from somewhere else, or auto create groups. To create a group by hand, you'll click Create Group, give your group a name, any description you may wish to add, and for this basic video, you may also add a picture for this group, which will show up in forums. To save the created name for this group, we'll click Save Changes. It will also create a second group for our example. Next, you'll see on the left here, there are two groups, Group 1 and Group 2. We can add and remove users by clicking Add Remove Users. Since Group 2 is the last one I had clicked on, I can now add members to Group 2. I'll add every other student by clicking on them and holding Control on my keyboard. You'll see that on your keyboard by the letters C, T, R, L. Once done, I will click Add. Note that you see the teacher listed as well. The teacher does not need to be in any specific group to interact with students. Next, I will click back to groups. If I want to add students to my group one, I will click group one, add and remove users, and pick the students I wish to add to this group. If you wish to remove one, say if you added one that is already in a group as designated by the one in the parentheses I can add them click on their name and select remove and then they are removed from this group I will again click on back to groups you may also auto create groups by auto creating groups the name scheme will be group and then the at symbol and the at symbol will dictate the letters the group may be as seen here or if you use the pound sign it will also show as numbers also known as the number sign the auto create based on members per group or number of groups so we will do members per group and we will do three if you have an amount that is not divisible by three, it will create the last group as divisible by two or one, or possibly four. You can turn on group messaging if you wish. If enabled, group members can send messages to others in their group via the messaging draw. The members within this group will be students. Select members from the group can be part of group one, or group two that you're making this automatically from, or none for the whole course. You can allocate members randomly, no allocation, alphabetical by first then last name, last name then first name, or by their ID number. You can prevent this last smallest group, which would then prevent it from being a group less than three, and that group will end up being merged with the last group ignore users in groups so if you have users in groups already it will ignore those users or students and then include only active enrollments is already checked off you can preview this and you will see that these students have been added into groups once submitted those students will be added into groups a b c and d thank you for watching